Hey guys, Tiffany from A Master Life again. Just wanted to um, tell you about a little um, lesson that we learned in, in as investors. Um, so we bought an apartment and we paid too much for it. Um, oh, looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> we paid too much for it um, back probably 12 years ago. Um, so we were unable to, when the tenants that were living in it, that we bought it tenanted, they'd been paying way more than they probably should have been. Um, so we based all our numbers on what we were, they were getting for rent at the time. Um, when those tenants moved out though, we found out very quickly that we could no longer get that kind of rent for this place. So we ended up taking this uh, small apartment. Um, it's about 700 square feet, which by our standards is really small in the market that I live in. Um, plus it's not in a downtown like metropolitan area. So we ended up taking it and furnishing it. So we furnished it from a lot from, you know, our own stuff that we had in our home, um, Ikea. I mean, we did it pretty um, budget friendly. I think it cost us about $3,500 to do it. Um, and so we took from an apartment that we were having trouble getting, uh, I think it was 1100 a month and we, we or 1150 even we wanted and needed for our expenses at the time um, and I think we ended up getting 1900 pretty much immediately um, for it we have rented this place out for up to 21 2200 over the years depending on the market and the demand um, and right now since our market is low right now we're, we're renting it out for 1700 so um, you know we took a, a place from being barely cash flowing and and an issue filling to being um, a, you know fantastically cash flowing property for us um, that again the tenants have been paying down mortgage for us for the last um, 12 11 12 years so anyways I just thought I'd kind of show you this cute little apartment it doesn't have to be fancy we didn't um, furnish it really fancy Walmart and Ikea but we made it cute I think so not big place as you can see but good enough for tenants I hate those shower curtains but oh well they work the bay was having their bay day sale we upped all our bedding good quality stuff so again not fancy but it did the trick and for our 3500 bucks we were able to take it to a really nice cash flowing place so um, you know sometimes if you're stuck as an investor get creative go furnished or do a rent to own do a lease to own something where you can really up the value go corporate you know contact corporate companies and be like if we furnish this house for you would you you know put your guys in it whatever it might be so um, yeah Get creative as investors, that's what we do, right? We jump through hoops, and you'll hear me say that all the time. As investors, my job is to jump through hoops. So, jumping through hoops makes us 700 bucks a month-ish now, um, maybe more, anyways. Okay guys, thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.